Here is a step-by-step -step guide to lucid dreaming. Watch the following video to see all the lucid dreaming steps that you can take in order for you to be a lucid dreaming pro. So the first thing that you really want to do is make sure your sleeping space is as clear and calm as possible. One really good tip is to, if you can, is to cleanse the area in which you sleep in. You can do that by smudging, you can light some incense, you can even play some really calming music. That's a really, really good way to clean the space. You almost want to clear the aura that surrounds your, your sleep area. The next thing you want to do is keep a diary next to your bed. It's really, really important that you write your dreams down. I've got dream diaries that go back years and years and years. And the more I have evolved in my lucid dreaming, the more I can see how relatable the dreamers are and actually how prophetic some of them have been, interestingly, as well. Now, make sure before you go to bed that you are as in as a comfortable, calm position as possible. The one thing I really recommend is having a bath, but in that bath have some salt water because salt water purifies the soul, it purifies the body and it cleanses the mind as well. That's a really good thing to have as well before you start your dream journey. Now, once you've settled into bed, make sure that your temperature is a good, comfortable temperature as well. You don't want to be too hot. You don't want to be too cold. You also want to be wearing the most comfortable clothes you can as well. Another great way to start your lucid dreaming journey is to begin by doing some form of meditation. Now, you can do this with a step-by-step -step meditative guide that you can download on YouTube, you can do it on whatever you feel more comfortable with. You may have a CD at hand, you may have a music account that you can listen to that will allow you to relax into your sleep in as calm a peaceful way as possible. Now, when you do your lucid dreaming, the fact that you want to be trying to take as much control, you want to be in as much your dream as possible and conscious of your dream is the important part of lucid dreaming. So each night it will get easier the more you do it. And obviously it's all down to how much time that you have to take this journey into a dream lucid state, okay? Or a state of lucid dreaming. The first thing you need to do is when you wake up is write the dream that you have had down. Sometimes it's not always possible, but if you can just get the sort of core aspect of the dream written down, day by day you will see that your dream diary becomes more and more clearer and you will start to see the symbolisms that run through your dreams. Now the main point of lucid dreaming, and this is very important, and this is what a lot of shamans used to say, lucid dreams is about your connection to spirit, it's about your connection to other worlds, because in a many ways, Lucid dreaming is actually about having a connection to a higher force or a higher self. Whatever you believe, whatever you think about, you are going into a different realm, you're going into a different dimension. And the more stronger you connect to this aspect of yourself, the more you can understand your dreams and how it in fact it impacts you on your day-to-day -day living. So why is it important to take lucid dreaming so seriously? Well, if you think about how much time you spend sleeping, that's roughly eight hours, and how much time you spend in your waking life, that's roughly 16, the maths kind of answers itself. So the more you are in control of your subconscious, that is your dreaming aspect, the better equipped you will be in your waking life. Dreaming is all about understanding and processing what goes on in our daily activities. So the more we are in control of our dreaming aspect, the better equipped we are in our day-to-day -day life. So don't forget to subscribe to learn more tips on lucid dreaming and dream analysis.